we will move with another team that we like to talk about quite a bit, and that would be the Army Black Knights. And this bunch, pretty good season last year, and they continue to have really good seasons with Jeff Munkin as the head coach. They went 9-4 and four last year. Post-game win expectancy was 9.09 and 2.91. Um, you know, they, they went 8-4 and four in the regular season and then won the bowl game. And they really should have won nine games in the regular season. So, returning production is always bad for the military uh, academies. 95 is their ranking. Uh, 56% returning production. Definitely not good. Uh, don't even bother looking at roster strength. I'm not going to dive into a bunch here. Um, the quarterback, uh, Tyre Tyler is going to have to, it's probably going to be him that replaces Christian Anderson and Jabari Laws. Uh, The offense ran really well with Christian Anderson as quarterback. 32 of the 46 touchdowns that were scored last year were by guys that are coming back, so that's good. Uh, But the two quarterbacks that are coming back only attempted 20 passes combined last year, so you don't really have that passing aspect that Army was able to develop late in the year last year. The and it's not that they threw the ball a lot. It's just, you know, they had that explosive play that they could pull out of the back pocket every now and then. On defense, uh, Nate Woody, is he's been the D.C. ever since um, Jay Bates left back three years ago. And, you know, pretty feisty defenses the last couple of years. But they were number 85 in PPA per drive on defense last year. That's not good. Uh, rushing success rate allowed is really good. They're losing their nose tackle, Cockrell. That's going to hurt. Um, you know, when I look at this, like, their linebacker, Andre Carter the second is a beast. Uh, Jabari Moore comes back at cornerback. He's awesome. There are pieces for this defense to maintain and, and even improve. Chris, like uh, Army's won at least nine games in four of the last five years. Even if you don't see it roster wise, like I I've got them at eight and four, and and that's with them losing like the first two ball games. Like I, I still think yeah. this is an incredibly well coached team and the schedule. Uh, they always use it to set themselves up quite well. Like, I think they beat Navy this year. I'm I'm kind of in on them again. I, I don't think they're ever going to really have a bad year under Jeff Munkin. Yeah, I'm with you. I've got eight and four as well. We're the exact same. And and that's it. That's what I trust, and that's what I know. It's Jeff Munkin. I, you know, it's almost impossible to to predict based on roster or experience or any of those things. You hit on all those. It, it's just a they schedule well. They get to play the bottom feeders of the the independents. Um, so that's a that's a whole lot of wins that you can just roll off. Um, and then you know they play the other military academies. And this is no knock to the other ones. I just I like Munkin better than them. Uh, the other coaches. I I think he's a better coach. I, I like the way he's built this program and getting them to the way he runs things. So. Everybody knows their role on this team. Well, yeah, they, they have an identity, and they're not afraid to, like last year, they threw the ball more than we've ever seen them throw the ball. Like, I, I'm, I'm okay with him being able to say, hey, we have the talent to do this thing that's different than we normally do it. We're going to try it, and we're going to do it more. And, and that takes a little bit of guts and courage. No, it definitely does. Um they do play at Wake Forest. Uh, Georgia State looks like they could be kind of tough. I've got them actually winning that game. Uh, the first two games out of the out of the slate here at Coastal Carolina and then UTSA uh, before you get sure. Villanova. At, pretty tough couple of games to open the season. Uh, but then you got yes, sir. then you got a bye week before Georgia State. You got at Wake Forest. Then you get Colgate and ULM. Uh, you take another bye week, and then you've got Air Force. Uh, let's see at Troy. You got UConn at UMass, and then Navy. Like, the back half of the schedule is set up just about perfectly for them. Ooh. Yeah. It softens up real well so they can get ready for Navy. You got it. You got it. So, I'm I'm interested in this. Uh, the key on defense is going to be slowing down the passing game. Woody's defense has been able to stop the run, uh, but opponents can throw on them. I don't think this schedule has anybody other than Wake Forest that they're going to really have to worry about with that. So, so the schedule sets up well. Uh, so I've got them eight and four. You said you've got them eight and four as well. Eight and four as well, yes, sir. All right, not too shabby. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B Giannini 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.